Welcome back to the vlog. I'm starting this vlog on a Sunday, which is very abnormal. I definitely vlog on Sundays, but I never start a vlog on Sunday. And I just woke up, which is why I got my fresh morning face. I am so excited for the next few days because we actually got a cold front last week and it is pretty chilly right now. I will check the weather right now and let you know. And of course this is relative. I know every time I talk about the weather, someone who lives in like the North Pole will tell me that it's very much colder <laughs> where they live. And so I recognize this is not freezing, but for this Texan, this is definitely chilly. It's 35 right now and it's gonna be in the upper 40s and like the 50s all week. And I love when the weather matches the season. And granted, I feel like we kind of skipped over fall in Texas. It definitely feels more like winter, but I just wanna soak it up. I really enjoy kind of matching activities, food, all that jazz to the weather and so i'm excited to have an exceptionally cozy next few days which we try to keep it pretty cozy around here normally but i kind of want to up the level of warmth in the next few days so i'm so excited to bring you guys along like i mentioned today is sunday so we have church this morning and then i need to do some stuff around the house i need to run by the grocery store do a little bit of meal prep i'm thinking of possibly decorating the balcony either tomorrow or tuesday probably tuesday because i think it's going to rain tomorrow someone in my decorating video actually gave me some ideas so i think it'd be fun to pick up a couple of things for that or just use what we have to spruce up the balcony because it's pretty bare right now and then tonight i want to make a chili recipe i want to do like a loaded veggie but also turkey chili recipe so we'll do that tonight and then have that as leftovers throughout the week and really just soak up the next few days of this cold front i always have my friend right here for the intro of course but i just wanted to say hello and let's get this vlog started <music> church now it was a really great sermon but i usually try to get a hymn or two while we're worshiping because i just love the worship at our church it's always so inspiring and beautiful but it was actually super sad today towards the end someone had some kind of medical emergency i'm not sure what happened if it was a heart attack it was crazy because so many people ran over who were doctors nurses medical professionals you know churches are full of so many different people with so many different occupations i actually feel like that's probably a better place for something like that to happen just because you have immediate help but I was definitely praying for that person when that happened I'm headed to go grab some groceries i'm gonna go to tom thumb get some stuff for dinners i'm gonna make a chili recipe tonight and then i'm also gonna get stuff to make pomegranate chicken i made this last week but i still have some ingredients to make it so i want to try to use those up so we're just gonna have it again stock up a little bit Groceries are all put away, so now I'm gonna do just a quick Sunday cleanup, probably like an hour or so. I wanna vacuum the couch, clean our bathroom, vacuum the floors, and then probably mop a little bit. I feel like the floors are looking a little bit dingy, so I'm gonna do that. I always like starting the week with a bit of a clean space, and so the bathroom's definitely the area that needs the most TLC, too. We had to hide it from the fishermen, two French braids made. I just vacuumed our couch and I wanted to mention that one of the biggest asked questions I get is where this couch is from and it's from Where's Furniture. It's really nice, we've had it ever since we got married, so like two and a half years ago. And obviously it's a white couch and cash is allowed on the couch, so it definitely has some wear, especially you can see right here all these pillings. And I use one of those D pillars too, but it's definitely gotten to a point where it is just well loved and I wanna get someone to actually come professionally clean it. So if you have any recommendations in Dallas, 
of someone who does a good job of professionally cleaning couches, please leave them down below. I feel like that's very specific. I still love it though. I think it's a great, great couch. I just made myself a little mocktail for the evening for cooking. I always like to sip something while I cook and this was so easy. I just did some LaCroix, a splash of pomegranate juice that we had left over, some rosemary sprigs and pomegranate seeds and it tastes so good. I'm so excited tonight. We're gonna make a hearty, healthy turkey chili with also a ton of vegetables. I've been feeling like I need some nutrients and anytime it's kind of a cozier evening, it's about 40 degrees right now. I always crave chili because my mom would always make it growing up on those cooler nights. And so we're gonna make that tonight. And I'm so thankful to be partnering with Our Place on this portion of today's video because we have some new kitchen items to cook with tonight. But I especially wanted to mention them in this video because they're running a great sale from November 10th to November 28th for Black Friday. And their whole website is 30% off, which is crazy. Right now, the Always Pan is on sale for $95 instead of $145. And the Perfect Pot is on sale for $115 instead of $165. And these guys are not only beautiful, I actually have the Always Pan sitting out right there because I just think it's so cute, but they are so lightweight. Aiden was actually cleaning up last night from dinner and he was like, oh my goodness, this is so easy to pick up. And they're also nonstick, which is great. And it's especially great because they're not made with a lot of those toxic chemicals and ingredients that a lot of other pans are made from. I'll put some of them on the screen. They're free of all those guys, which means that you can just cook with ease. I talked about how I recently tried to switch out a lot of our utensils to more wood utensils and speaking of utensils these are so cool because they come with spoons that actually rest on the pans themselves which is super convenient you don't have to have a spoon rest and you don't have to get food everywhere which i love the perfect pot is great because it's meant to replace your stock pot dutch oven saucepan roasting rack steamer strainer brazier and spoon rest this thing literally has everything that you could think of within the pot just makes it so convenient and especially a great gift if you're wanting to give this to someone who really enjoys cooking or maybe doesn't enjoy cooking because it really simplifies the process you don't have to have a ton of pans i know especially when i was living in new york city storage was so limited and i really wish i had these back then because they can really do it all and you don't need to have everything it's no surprise to you guys you guys know i love cooking for the fact that i love just getting to work with my my hands for an hour it's really like an unwinding relaxing session for me but also I think it's such a great way to have our whole family together and really spend time with Aiden in the evening since he works in the office during the day and I love that that's the whole mission behind our place so again I'll have them linked down below if you guys want to check them out again this sale is running until November 28th it's a great gift and 30% off site-wide you really can't beat it so let's get cooking I'm excited. Good morning. I'm currently getting ready to go to a workout. It's actually nine o'clock. I typically work out earlier than this, but I was getting some work done this morning. Sometimes I like to get a couple hours of computer work done first and then work out if there are just things that I want to send in earlier in the morning. So I did that. I'm just going to do a strength workout today because I'm currently in my luteal phase of my cycle. And so I'm trying to do a bit more I guess strength workouts are still kind of high energy and they require strength, but I'm gonna do something a little bit more low impact, less cardio, as I'm trying to be better at cycle syncing, which maybe I can talk about later. And then for the rest of Monday, I'm actually gonna go get a massage, which I'm so excited for. I go to this place called The Now and they were so sweet. They invited me in today and I never pass up a massage. If anyone ever gets me a gift or anything, I always say a massage because I love it. I just hold so much tension in my back and especially with the workouts, it always feels good to get a good massage. So excited for that. And then just getting some work done, gonna make a good dinner tonight and have a productive day.
ended up running at the gym because our gym was so crowded this morning that's a problem with going at nine it always gets quite full then and so i try to do just a slower running pace again i'm trying to run a little bit more because we are doing the turkey trot that i'm trying to prepare so it wasn't anything too intense but now i actually realized my massage is tomorrow so we're gonna go ahead and do tomorrow's things today and i need to pick up a few things at Target, Trader Joe's, and Lowe's. I wanna get a few things to decorate our balcony tomorrow, so we'll do that together, but there are just a few things I wanna pick up, so I'm gonna check here at Target. And then I also wanna stop by Trader Joe's for a certain thing that we'll see if they have it there. And lastly, we'll go to Lowe's to see if they have any outdoor stuff that's Christmassy. I don't need a ton of stuff, but I'm just gonna look for a few things here and there and then head back home, get some editing done. It's a very rainy day today, but it's a nice subtle rain, which is perfect for errands because there's usually less people, but it's not anything crazy. So let's see what Target has. a ton of stuff because I was just walking around Target and I have really spent kind of my max budget already on Christmas decor. I don't really want to spend a lot more money so I only got a couple of trees that I'm going to use and then I'm just going to use stuff that I already have. I don't really want to go crazy so felt good to make that decision and then at Lowe's this might be a little crazy but I found a real mini Christmas tree, which I'm not sure how it's gonna fare outside, but we're gonna try it. When I was checking it, I said, okay, if it's over $30, I'm not gonna get it. And it was $25, which I felt like was a good deal. So check out Lowe's and we'll see how long she lasts, but it's a beautiful tree. And then lastly, I stopped at Trader Joe's and I did get a few things I'm super excited about. So I will share this haul quickly. Sorry, we have some laundry going, but the first thing is this dog advent calendar. I wanted to get one of these last year and I couldn't find one so I went ahead and picked it up early I'm definitely gonna do this with cash it's so cute and then this was something that they had samples out and I got it from the lady and I was walking around the store and I was like you know what I really want to get one of those and so it's a Danish Kringle and this is like a really light pastry with icing on it it's delicious I had never seen these in Trader Joe's so we picked up that I was actually going to find a little olive tree. I saw Chris and John share on her story, but mine didn't have it. It was totally fine because I don't need it. It was just kind of one of those things I was gonna check. We got some hot chocolate because it's hot chocolate season. And then a couple of frozen treats. This is basically brie cheese wrapped in crust. Aiden's really into brie, so I thought we could do that one day. And then we also have some mini quiches. And then lastly, just a set of their winter candle trio. Just a small one. I like to use those in the bathroom. So we're gonna go ahead and put this stuff away. And then I have a lot of work I need to get done. So we're gonna work pretty much up until dinner time. to make us some dinner. I just changed into this comfy little PJ set that's from Tommy John. I really like this one. And I actually had just made this recipe that I'm making tonight a couple of days ago in a vlog. It's like a pomegranate sheep pan chicken recipe from Half Big Tarvis. And it was definitely one of our favorites. And I have a bunch of the leftover pomegranate juice and seeds. And these are both kind of expensive. So I wanna to try to use them. And like I said, it was a favorite. So we're gonna go ahead and do that again tonight.
Why do you like the chicken ones so much like this? We also ate the Kringle tonight that I showed earlier and it was 10 out of 10. I would definitely recommend if your Trader Joe's has it. It doesn't look anything special, but it is so good. It's like a sweet dough with an icing on it. So it's Tuesday. I am so bundled up right now because I'm about to decorate the balcony and it is 39 degrees outside, which really is not this cold. Someone asked me on Instagram the other day if I ever missed New York City winters and the answer is flat out no. I do not like the cold. I'm not a cold fan. I can deal with it in December because it's Christmassy and everything, but January, February, March, I can't do it. I'd much rather be in Texas where it's hot here. We're gonna decorate. I'll show you guys the stuff that I have to work with today. It's a very gloomy day. It's been so gloomy lately. So we're gonna add some happiness to the balcony to bring our spirits up because so many gloomy days lately just really starts bringing you down. We have our giant tree right here. I also have some extra trees. And then over here, we're gonna use this basket to actually put one of the trees in. I wanna put them all in baskets. We have a Christmas blanket and then some lights. The only things that I ended up picking up were these lights. If you saw my decorating video, I tried to put these outside originally and they didn't work. So these I ordered off Amazon, much cheaper than the ones I originally ordered. So we're gonna try to string these on the window. And then I wanna add this garland to the railing. So we're gonna do that. And then these I also picked up. These are just little stars that I'm gonna add to the lights. I think these were, yeah, $10 each. So not bad, I got two in case I needed two sets. This is the pillow that I had and we're also gonna add these lights too. So a lot of lights, the electricity bill is probably not gonna be great for the next month, but I don't always have to turn them on. So let's get started. I think we'll start with the railing first and then do the other. Of changing because I just did not like the outfit but I just cleared everything out though we got a clean space to work with and now I'm gonna do the garland oh, it's Christmas time. I feel sad I can't help it got you on my mind I don't know how to call this because it's Christmas time I just wrapped the garland. I'm talking inside because it's pretty loud out there and I didn't have quite as much as I wish I had. I wanted to fill up the entire thing so it looked like the whole thing was covered instead of having the gray spaces, but it's fine. I think it looks good enough. So we're gonna do that. Now that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and string the lights on there. I'm gonna use those icicle lights and add some light. just using the stars and taking down the icicle lights because it just seems like a bit too much with both of them. It just didn't look right. And so I think I like it better just with the stars like this, but we'll see if I want to add the icicle lights. But I'm going to go ahead and take a little lunch break slash I'm going to go get that massage that I mentioned today. So we're going to do that, have a nice relaxing afternoon and then finish this when I get back. I just got here to my appointment. It is almost noon. Now has a couple of different Dallas locations. This one is the Preston one. I've only ever come here, but I think they have like a lower Greenville one. I think they also have some holiday deals right now going on. I think a massage is the best gift. It's always the thing that I ask for from Aiden because I love the feeling of getting a massage. And so I just wanted to share them. They're really, really great. I'm just doing a 50 minute one. And yeah, obviously massages are so good for you too. So, so excited. I am back home now and we are gonna go ahead and finish off the balcony. So I'm gonna put my trees out next. I think this is the next thing I wanna do. And none of these, actually one of them is pre-lit, but none of them actually have lights. So we'll see if I wanna add lights. I feel like I might have a little bit too many lights going on. So we'll see, but we'll arrange them and see how we wanna put them. trees out here if you watched my decorating video i talked about how i thought putting trees out here was a little bit too much but i actually got rid of the planter i stored that since we're not going to plant anything until spring and i think that these look nice it looks like a little forest i think it's super cute put our blanket 
blanket and our pillow up and I don't know what to do on this coffee table. I keep putting random stuff on here. But... And now I'm gonna go ahead and hang some hanging lights right here that will hopefully twinkle and just add some light to the space. switching the garland to not wrap around the banister because it just looked off from inside. There's too much going on and I think that this looks a lot better. I just moved our lanterns out here too because I like to have those. I think they go with everything and I do think I'm going to try to put some fairy lights on this real tree but I don't have any that are battery operated because there's not a plug over here so we will do that another day but I think it looks so sweet. I'm excited to see it at night. Okay, switch these again because I'm very indecisive. I think that this blanket it's just a little bit more the vibe. It is upside down and you need to switch it. And then that's the pillow that we originally had out here. So that is everything. I don't want to crowd it too much, but I think it looks so nice out. So really love all of our trees over there. I think it looks so sweet and I can't wait to see it in the evening. sweater and threw on the scarf again because I'm actually going to a concert tonight with my friend she last minute got tickets and asked if I wanted to come it's for the 1975 which I know a couple of their songs but I honestly don't know a ton of them it is very evident on here that I am a homebody but it's always good for me to just kind of push myself to do things that are out of my comfort zone every now and then and I always like spending time with her so it's going to be a lot of fun. Also, I was wearing red lipstick earlier when I was shooting some content and now I feel like it kind of stained the area around my mouth. So just ignore that. I don't know how to get it off. It's not coming off, but we need to head out. So let's do it. now concert was so much fun i'm so happy that we ended up doing it and i'm about to wash my face and head to bed because it is 11 18 and i am a grandma so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog again if you want to check out our place i'll have them linked down below if you guys want to check out their sale and get 30 percent off site wide so that'll be down below and I'm so thankful for you guys i hope you guys felt like this vlog was a bit of a warm hug it was kind of the goal i'm really excited to just spend some more time with you guys in the future but thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys later Thank you.